I'm Rich Lund, just a guy trying to help out the monarchs, and today it's some very specific monarchs. Monarch caterpillars who, sometime while jay-hanging, have become unattached and fallen. Now, some similar issues exist, and some episodes are out there that help deal with those situations. The episode Chrysalis Repair showed a way to re-hang an already formed chrysalis should it become unattached and fall. On the heels of that one, though, Eclose Without Hanging actually showed how an already formed chrysalis, really the adult butterfly, can emerge and eclose out of the chrysalis without it actually hanging, provided the adult has a place to climb up and spread and inflate the wings. And then the episode Side J Hang Relocation shows a procedure for if a caterpillar has chosen maybe not the best spot to try and form the chrysalis, how it can be relocated and rehung elsewhere. But in that case, usually the Side J Hanger does have enough webbing to work with in the rehanging. And links to all those videos are down in the description below. But what about this specific situation where maybe you have a J-hanger that didn't spin enough silk or really make a good tether as, as well as we would hope? Hey, for whatever reason it may be, the J-hanger becomes unattached and falls prior to forming the chrysalis. And in this case, without really much silk webbing to work with. What do you do then? Well, here's the first batch of questions. Is this even a problem? Does the caterpillar need to be hanging to form the chrysalis, or is it something it could do on its side? Honestly, I don't 100% know. Here's what I do know. I know that it can be a problem. Similar to why I would want to relocate a side J-hanger, if ever a surface is impacting the yet-to-dry and hardened chrysalis, it may cause a deformity to it. It may cause it to be misshapen. There have been a few times, even from my own experience, where I've come home to find a chrysalis that... The J-hanger must have formed it, and during the formation process, the chrysalis must have fallen. Due to the chrysalis forming and hardening while in contact with the surface, it did have a flat side to it. And I also know that there are methods that people have used of holding the J-hanging caterpillar, which no longer is J-hanging, holding the caterpillar though, and when it starts to form the chrysalis, when the skin starts to break, actually cupping and rotating their hand in a cup way, I've never done it, and by gently tumbling the caterpillar around in their hands, they are able to help it out of its skin. But even in such a case, once the skin is off, it may require you to pinch and hold onto the cremister, the tip of the chrysalis, with your fingers until it dries. That might take a half hour or more. So what if it falls? The J-hanger, and you might not have the time or ability to be there when it's time for the chrysalis to actually form. Well, here's an option. Recently, today, I found a J-hanger who had fallen. Had a good silk button, but the tether must not have been. And what follows is the repair that occurred. All right, here we have the unlucky star of the show. Something happened there with uh, the webbing. And we want to try to get this guy hanging so it can properly form the chrysalis. We're going to be gluing the very end. Looks like there's a little bit of the, uh, the webbing there left. I'm going to be gluing that to some paper towel and then hanging the paper towel. For the glue, I'm going to be using a type of very fast drying gel glue. Exactly which brand does not matter, but I want something that it's not runny. It's not going to drip. Instead, it's going to be a gel. A little bit easier to control on this, and I definitely want it fast drying. It doesn't really matter where on the paper towel it gets glued to, so I'm just going to crumple it up. And then there's going to be a piece, I'm sure, that's going to be close once he figures out where he wants to put it, it's going to be close to where that webbing is still still present. And then hopefully being able to dry to it. Now truly, I'd be maybe putting down another piece of paper towel to catch any excess glue. But for video purposes, for filming purposes, to be able to see where the glue is, we're going to try it the other way. Now, I don't want to put the glue on the animal. I'd rather try to first just glue to the paper towel. So I'm going to place a little bit of gel glue right here on the end of this paper towel. That was hardly any at all. Now I'm going to try to attach the gel directly to where the netting is still connected. I'm not too worried about any glue touching the head or the skin, as that will be hopefully shed soon. Might want... These tweezers have already had some adventures here off camera with the glue. 
You might want some tweezers though or something to just gently touch that back end to the paper towel. I'm also, if it tries to curl a little bit more, I'm going to keep it from touching the drying glue while it dries. I don't want the head to get glued to it. So I'm just going to wait here for a little bit and let it dry. Let it be elevated and not just touching the plate. You can see it's already taking a little bit of hold. I just don't want to disrupt that. I want it to fully dry. I can probably let go here a little bit. Now some great news too is that the chrysalis doesn't really have a whole lot of weight to it. So it's not like we need to use a major hold. But definitely the speed of the glue drying is what's important here. Now I'm looking to see if we get a good hold, and I think we have. This has been approximately two minutes, three minutes. I'll check the video footage later. But the real test, of course, is are we able to hang? Just so gently. Testing very low to the surface in case it did fall. Yes, we are indeed successfully hanging. A J hanging has occurred. Still waiting a little bit. You know, I want to be sure. I don't want to presume we crossed the finish line if we really haven't. But it does seem to be holding pretty well. Now we're lucky on this one. It had some webbing there that we could attach it to. Um, if it did not, I think that might be the one situation where I would see if I could help it e-close properly and then have to maybe fingertip hold it. That's an adventure maybe for another day. Let's hang this one up and let it be able to hang while it properly becomes the chrysalis, which might be happening soon. The skin has not split yet, so we do have some time before that occurs, but not much. Those tentacles are wrinkly. Now how you hang or fashion the chrysalis from here is pretty much up to you and how you normally might do it. I'm going to trim off a lot of this paper towel though. It's not actually going to be needed for my relocation of the J hanger. Soon to be Christmas. Well, I think it's about to happen soon here. Rolling up the paper towel a little bit so I can stick it through my tool here in my outdoor rearing tent. But this guy gets his own. Temporarily brought inside so we could get some good lighting for filming and less noise. And I think it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty much happening right now, isn't it? Just got them successfully hung there. The binder clasp, as is my norm. And yeah, the chrysalis is, is, is forming now. All right, wow, this is some good timing. I guess we get to test right now. Right now. Come on, buddy. You can make it. This is crazy. <laughs> just noticed that it happened. Got out the camera. Just in time. Just in time. I don't want to celebrate yet, though. Look at how, look at how brave he or she is. Just, you know... Hey, I'm going to J-hang. Yeah, now I'm going to form this chrysalis. Don't really know what that's going to be or what I'm going to exactly become once I do it, but uh, I'm going in. All right, moment of truth. Here comes the wiggling. Should the chrysalis fall, keep in mind as well, it's not a large distance, but it would fall on some netting below. Netting that has cushion. So we're safe in this test. Safety first. Really putting my putting my repair job to the test. Okay, despite not actually getting the skin off in the wiggle dance, it seems to seems to have calmed down and become okay with that. You can already even see the pattern of where the head is going to be on the eventual adult butterfly. Right, I think we're done. Yes, indeed.
indeed. Chrysalis has horned. Cool. I think I'll leave that skin on there just so that way I definitely know which one's which. <laughs> I, I guess the paper towel does kind of still give it away, of course, but. And here, he or she is. Well, all right, there you have it. Should a J-hanger succumb to the gravitational pull of Earth's gravity and fall prior to forming the chrysalis, you've got an option. I want to thank you for checking this episode out, and I hope your monarch season is going well. And as always, thank you so much for your interest in helping out this very important, very beautiful pollinator. And plant milkweed. I'm Rich Lund, and I'll see you next time.